Hey guys, I was just sitting here. I was working on that uh, stove cover that uh, I showed you guys in the last video, doing some sanding, and I was thinking about tools, which led into thinking about, you know, just about anything you do, um, or at least when you go to purchase something. Um, sorry, I say I'm an awful lot, but what I was thinking about tools was, you know, and, and like I said, this can apply to, to many things. Um, kitchen stuff, uh, bedroom sets, I mean, anything really, uh, that you go to purchase. It, they say that, you know, you get what you pay for. And in some instances, that's true. Uh, most instances, that's true. I guess what I'm really thinking about is, you know, how often, like my tools, which is what made me think about this. How often do I use the things I'm doing? What What is your end goal with what you're doing? Um, when I go out to buy a pot for the kitchen or a pan or a skillet uh, or a cast iron skillet, um, how often I'm going to use it? You know, I have learned that when I buy things, um, like I have a drill over here that I bought at... Uh, discount tool store and you know it cost me maybe 25 bucks i've had it now for three years and it has served me well but i don't use it very often um so i didn't need to put that money into it um you know uh, same with like my sander that i was using to sand this board down with if it's something you're going to use every day then sure you might want to invest in it like I remember when I went to, uh, when I worked on cars all the time, you know, when I was doing it from home, you know, the tools I had were, you know, good name brand tools, but they were for weekend warriors, uh, guys that didn't do it every day. And they served me well, you know, and then when I went to work on cars professionally, those tools didn't hold up very well when you're using them. Um, eight, nine hours a day, five, six days a week, you needed something a little better. And so then the tools I did buy cost four times more, but they held up and lasted longer. So therefore I needed it. Um, I, same way with uh, stuff in the house. Um, you know, do I need to, you know, buy the most expensive pan in the world or a pot or, you know, crock pot or, dehydrator or you know it, and on and so on and so forth i guess it would just depend on how often i was going to do it like we can a lot of our own foods or jar it if uh, put it in jars and preserve it um so we buy you know we we had a very old used hand-me-down uh pressure canner um but we were wearing it out it was old um so we bought a brand new one, but we bought one that could handle, you know, canning all the time. Um, you know, when I buy cast iron skillets, I, I use cast iron a lot uh, for skillets, Dutch ovens, all that stuff. So when I look for one, I look for one that's, you know, a little heavier, got a thicker, you know, uh, cast iron to it instead of a thin one because I use it a lot and, and it's a something that I, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, can uh, get my money's worth out of. Where a thinner one, you know, they're good to, you know, thinner one, a cheaper one, they're good to work with, to learn on, but, you know, you'll want one that's a little better. Now, am I still under the firm impression I need a Cadillac of skillets? No, I don't, you know, cook for 500 people. I don't, you know, I don't cook often enough, even though we cook two to three times a day. Um, where we don't eat out a whole lot, but I'm not home enough to justify cooking and expensive equipment. So, but anyhow, that was just a thought I had and thought I'd share it. Share your thoughts if you want or don't. It's okay. Um, but that was a thought at any rate. I will talk to you later. Have a good day. Um, I'll probably be doing another video here. Well, I'll probably actually do it this evening, if not tomorrow, because we're getting ready to make apple butter. And apple pie filling um, we're gonna can it up um, so we have it through the winter uh, apples are plentiful at the moment and cheap so we bought up a bunch of apples uh, good apples 
and from a, a local stand and we uh, will can them up and preserve them make some apple sauce some apple butter and pie filling all right i uh, will talk to you later have a great day take care now